Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yunda Fitriasa, or you can call me Yunda. Hi. On today's video, I'm going to talk to you about body language. So this is the first thing that you have to always remind yourself that when you want to come to any interview, especially if you want to become a cabin crew, you need to have a proper body language knowledge before you finally get into the interview. This is based on my experience, so if you have any other suggestions about body language that is need to be add, I'm more than happy to know your feedback and please put it on the comment section below. And now, let's get started to the video. So the first thing that you need to know that eye contact is very important. I know, I know, I know. It really make you feel nervous that most of the time when you meet the interviewer and especially there's going to be a lot of people in the same room and you don't know how to act and you have to maintain your eye contact all the time. How is that even possible? I know. But this is one of the key and it's really, really important for you to always keep your eye contact in the appropriate way. So you don't have to stare at them all the time, like the whole time. The interviewer will get scared probably if you keep on looking at them directly like that. But actually, the way that you talk, you always to have a keep your eye contact to the interviewer and also to get a candidate. So it will show that you are not alone in this room only with the interviewer, but actually you make all of the candidates in the room as the part of the interview itself. So you get scared or you get nervous because you have to maintain your eye contact to the interviewer, but just remind yourself because this is the way that the interviewer will look at you if you don't maintain your um, eye contact. So you're going to be the interviewer and I'm the um, uh, candidate and you ask me questions and I'm like this. Um, actually, uh, I really want to become a cabin crew because I think this job is really glamorous. I want to travel the world and you know, how is that looks like to you. So it kind of telling the interviewer and also the other candidates that you don't want to be there and you don't want to talk to all the people in that room. So uh, it will looks like you were rude or you were too shy to be cabin crew and maybe you're not too friendly and you're not adaptable to a new situation like this. So you might want to avoid feeling nervous, even if you were nervous, of course, um, but you have to fake it and you have to pretend that you were the one that is really confident in this room. Not overconfident, but the right terms of confidence that is needed. And eye contact, maintain it with your interviewer and also the other candidates. That's the only way to show that you are ready for this job. And as a cabin crew, you have to show that you are really um, presentable all the time. Your makeup, your grooming, everything. And the way that you are sitting is also will be judged by, <laughs> by the interviewer. They will see that if you are confident enough, if you are too lazy to be there, <laughs> you don't want to be there, they will see all of that in the way that you are sitting when you were in the interview room. So you might want to sit up straight and maintain those eye contact with the one that I mentioned before. And after that, don't forget to smile appropriately, not all the time, of course. Um, yeah, so always keep your body posture in the right way and sit up straight. Don't, don't look like you were lazy or you don't want to be there. You want to show that you are here for that job, so. Maybe this is my reflex. The way that I'm moving right now is probably going to annoy the interviewer, but I'm not on the interview anyway. So the reason why you need to have a proper hand gesture when you are talking, when you are in the interview room, is because the way that you are talking is really going to show that you are confident enough or not. So let's say this is the way that you put your hand when you are talking. 
this is looks like you don't want to be there and you don't like people you hate people this is um, the body language going to show so instead of doing this and talking like uh, my name is Yunda Fitriasa or you can call me Yunda no so instead of that you might want to use another hand gesture like this so this is will show that you were confident enough with your answer and also your opinion and why do you think you can use this hand gesture and if you want to show something to the other candidates or the interviewer don't use your finger like one finger like this thing pointing to a different directions it's not nice so it's better for you to use your hand like this so instead of this and pointing it's better to use your hand like this and show it to them so here is the toilet and here is the room, you know, something like that. It's more appropriate for the interviewer to see. And of course, there is one thing that you want to avoid when it comes to your hand gesture. Don't bite your nails and don't um, try to, you know, stretch your hair. Avoid that because it looks like you don't know what to think and you don't feel confident enough with your answer and you feel like, oh my god, why am I here? I'm clueless, something like that. So avoid that and instead of that, just go back to the one that I mentioned before. Just be firm about your um, opinion and show it to them. Now moving on to the movement. Same like hand gesture, you just need the proper movement for your body. So your whole body when you're standing up, it will look like you are very nervous if you're moving around too much. So instead of doing that, you just have to stay at one point and you can um, explain nicely and also friendly to the other candidates and also the interviewer and avoid movement that is not necessary. Like when you move your feet too much or you stretch your back, your hand on your hips, it's not nice. Um, so instead of that, just keep your body movement as simple as possible for the interviewer to focus on your answer instead of your body movement. <laughs> for the body movement, one of the body movement that is really needed for the interviewer is the way that you nod. When someone's talking, you can nod. When you really understand, not like doing this all the time, of course, but do it correctly, like the way that you feel like genuinely you understand what the other people are saying, so you can understand them and um, the way that you not is um, going to show that you're really listening to other people's opinion and also you understand what they are saying. But when you not all the time, it looks like you're pretending. And the way that you not as well, the interviewer will ask you a question after that usually when they see that you are uh, nodding all the time and when you were asked about the questions about the interview and you didn't have the answer that it looks like you are just pretending so you're not even listening so be careful on that but just focus and really listen to what the other candidates were saying and also the the interviewer was saying at the same time you can use body movement that is properly knitted like nodding but not too much okay ladies if you want to replenish your makeup maybe you want to go to the, the um, restroom first before you apply your lipstick or if you want to have a quick one do it very quick the next one is really important but not many people know about this being cabin crew means that you need to be approachable, you need to be friendly, you need to be open to new situation. And this is the body language that will show that you can be approachable. Yes. The first thing that you need to do above everything that I mentioned before, smile. Smile is very important to tell the other people that you are friendly, you are open to a new conversation with anyone in the room, that you want to be in this job, you want to meet new people like you going to say in the interview, but you, if you don't smile during the interview, how the interviewer going to believe that you are the one who's going to be the next cabin crew that they will hire. So it's really important to maintain your smile all the time, but don't be scary of course, not smiling like 
<laughs> a fake one. Don't use this fake smile. Smile genuinely from your heart. It will show to the interviewer and also the other candidate that you're approachable and you love to be a cabin crew. Also, one thing that makes a big difference for my interview from the first one until finally I get the job with Emirates. But the first one I was very nervous. I don't even smile. I don't even talk to anyone. I don't even want to look at anyone. I avoid any conversation. I just want to be here by myself. I just want to get the job and go home. Like it doesn't work that way, honestly. <laughs> As the time goes by, I kind of learned that um, being a cabin crew means that you have to like people. You have to be a people person. And this is the way that you are going to sh uh, show to the interviewer and also the other candidates. Your smile, your body language, your hand gesture, and also um, the way that you are sitting, um, and also when you are standing, um, all the body movement and all the body language that I'm talking uh, about in this uh, video is that it's going to help you for the interview. Because once I did that, it makes a huge difference. Of course, I have to do it um, genuinely because if I fake it, it will show. That's the thing. You cannot just fake it like you want to smile and you want to be friendly, but actually inside your heart you don't want to. So be genuine and it will show. Like you are the one. You are the the one that they're looking for. Okay guys, so I hope that this video will give you a lot of information, especially about body movement, body language and the way that you need to present yourself as a candidate that is the one for the airlines that you are applying for. And if you still have any questions about body language and the other things that you think that you are not really feel confident enough, you can talk with me from my DM on Instagram at Vinafitriasa or if you want to practice, you can join my class at Kevin Crew class. Um, I usually always held a new class every single month. Um, there's going to be a former cabin crew or active cabin crew as the, one of the guests are of my classes. So if you want to join my classes, please do so and just register your name. I will put my link of the registration form on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching guys i hope that you learned so much from this video and see you on my next video bye bye